Happy Vlogmas. Uh, today is day eight already. You know, for some reason to me, it just feels like December is the slowest month of this year. Not that I'm rushing, but I'm over 2020 anyway, but it's just crazy because to me, it seems like all the months this year have gone by super fast and then we get to December and I feel like it's just going slow, but whatever. Um, I just got back home from going to get my lab work done and now I'm going to be working on dinner. So I thought I would take you guys along with me while I cook dinner for tonight. We're going to be having mashed potatoes, peas, and glazed meatballs. I just wanted to show you guys real quick before I mix the meatball mixture. Uh, I, I'm not following your recipe. I'm just winging this myself. I throw in some crushed up Ritz crackers. They are garlic butter flavored. Uh, since we are out of breadcrumbs, you know, improvise, be creative with what you have at home. And then I have one egg going into this as a binder as well. So I'm going to mix all this and form my meatballs. And then the potatoes are still boiling, so I'm going to check on those here in a minute and see if they're almost done or if they are ready. And yeah. So I just put in the first batch of meatballs. I have no idea how these are going to go because... I had to also improvise and add some oats along with the crackers. So, I mean, looks like they're staying together. They're just really sticky like a like a wet cookie dough or something. The potatoes are almost done. I did check them. All right. Yeah, they're almost done. Um, you know when they're done when they're fork tender. And then a tip I learned from Gordon Ramsay, watching him on YouTube, when you're making like meatballs and you're trying to remember like when, which order, or like which one to turn first, or 
um, he said arrange them like a clock and just go clockwise but I started here and went around and then put that one in the middle last so I will go counterclockwise and then come back and check that one so I don't know I feel like they need a good three to four minutes per side and then I'll put them on low to simmer in the sauce I'm gonna pour on them it's an update on the meatballs um, I'm gonna pour in everything now for the glaze and then let them simmer in the sauce so I know they're completely done I'm just gonna add a little bit of chicken stock this Bayou bourbon glaze from tastefully simple it is a line that my cousin Catrice actually sells mm. Oh, this is gonna be good y'all so if you guys are interested I will link everything down below but they have all types of like um, cooking products and utensils and things like that I've made uh, chicken wings and coated them in this chicken breast and now I'm doing these meatballs covered in it so yeah um, Mm, and it just smells so good. There's also caramelized uh, pieces of caramelized onions in the sauce as well. My potatoes are pretty much done. I'm going to get these mashed. And I keep it simple. Well, I'm going to keep it simple this time. And just do salt, pepper, butter, and milk. Um, you know, do whatever you want for your potatoes. But that's how I'm going to uh, fix mine. Mashed potatoes today. And then I have to get the peas um, cook, cooking as well, and I'm just gonna fix those on the stove in some chicken stock. Come taste these, see if they're any good. Alrighty then. They're good? Mm-hmm. Do they need anything? Nope. Okay. Someone's awake.